Good morning and welcome to Monday, week three of quarantine. So as you can see, it's becoming, it's a little lax, a little more lax than what it's been. Just FYI, we are starting homeschool in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know. They love it. Okay, Olivia, I will let you take these guys on a tour of your tent. Okay, so me and Cody wanted to do a tent and because we like to sleep in it. So Boston's is over there. Mine is right here. And yes, this is my science project. We used it for a keeping up tent. This is Lady's bed. This is my minky and then my bean bags under it that I got for Christmas. Cody's bean bag, pillows, pillows, pillows. And then this is his side. Yes, that is his science project. And this is just kind of like a rug. So, yeah. Before we start homeschool, here we open that. Before we start homeschool, just pull it off. You just pull it off. I just needed two hands. <laughs> this is the glass cleaner that I've literally used the entire time we've had this table, which is several years. Anyway, I'm almost out of it. So, Olivia, I'm usually kind of picky because I like to clean it, but go ahead. That is fine. I will let you do it. I just barely pulled this one out of my cold room, which you guys have seen my cold room before. Since I'm taking one out, I want to add one to my Amazon cart. And I think you can buy them in the bundle, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, here we go. I am sure that you guys are well aware that Amazon Prime is not delivering it within two days, which is completely understandable. It's just kind of different. Gone are the days of just like getting on Amazon, ordering it, having it within the next couple of days. At least that's been my experience recently. Look. Nothing, I just wanted to come over and check on you. Oh, what's that? Just dried milk. Okay, wipe it if you want to wipe it, you got to do it. Okay, let me show you how to do this. So she was taking one swipe per paper towel. Ooh, up and down, up and down, and then they... Okay. Well, take one wad of paper towels, and do you can do the whole table. Just takes like three, just like that. I'm going through and cleaning off. Oh, you can hear that. <laughs> There's so much sticky stuff on my microwave right now. Before I go through and do homeschooling, I like to make sure that our kitchen is clean. I don't know, I just feel like it really does create a night and day difference in the mood of our schooling. If we have a clean area to work in, I feel like when there's crumbs on the table or like toys all out or food all over the cabinets, it honestly takes away from the learning environment. Call me crazy and it could just be a personal thing, but I definitely, for us, feel like it helps. What you didn't see when I turned the camera off is that Olivia got upset that I started wiping the table and she said, well, sorry I'm not perfect like you, and that got me really upset yeah. <laughs> because I thought, you know, one, that's not nice of you to say to me. Two, is mom perfect? No. Do I treat you like you're done and not good enough? No. Okay. So you can tell that we got into like a little heated of a situation. And the only, and I asked Olivia if we could share this. And the reason I want to share it is because I think raising a 10 year old is really hard. I think raising a girl 10 year old is really hard and I seem to lose my temper more easily with you than I ever have in our life, right? So I made her go downstairs and I was like, I'm just gonna clean the kitchen by and myself. And I said what you said, you were like, you need space and I need space. Yeah, I was like, cause she's like, no, I'm gonna help you clean. And I said, no, I need space the same way sometimes you need space. I'm like, so go downstairs. <laughs> When Olivia came back upstairs, I said, what I want to know is, what were you really upset about? I was upset because I wanted to do it and mom did it. And I was upset because she could have just told me instead of just doing do it, it for you. Yeah. What I told Olivia is that I've noticed that she wants to do more. She wants to learn how to do things more. And the, yesterday, oh. Olivia made deviled <laughs> eggs the recipe was disgusting, and yeah. so we're going to make deviled eggs again today with a good recipe. 
with a better, with a different recipe, and I'm going to let you do it all by yourself. Okay? But I might need help from you a little bit. Okay. So. <laughs> Here you go. Last time it ended up as it was disgusting. Mustard and then the apple cider, cider vinegar. vinegar. It was just not was good. Okay, go ahead. Now these are eggs that we hard boiled for meal prep last Monday, and they're still good, but it, this will be a good way to use the rest of them up. So what I like to do for a hard boiled egg is I cut it long ways in half. And then I like to get that yellow stuff out. The yolk? Yolk. Okay, so we'll do that to all the eggs. Of mayo. And the only reason we're doing mayo is because I don't have any plain Greek yogurt. I'm not a fan of using mayo, but it's fine. We'll do it. Now I'm gonna add one teaspoon of mustard. You guys, please don't fight. Can I turn on the music? No. <laughs> and we're gonna go a little lighter on the mustard since last time it was so pungent. So use that same spoon, that's a teaspoon, and it calls for one and a half teaspoon of red wine vinegar. So use one teaspoon and then fill it halfway. Okay, and even though there's mustard in there, it's fine because it'll rinse out the mustard. Lincoln, Lincoln, come here please. Okay, pour that in. Do it all the way full, yep. Cody, are you making it a two-player? No, you can make it a two-player so Lincoln can play with you. Okay, what's next is a dash of Worcestershire. I'm going to put a yes. dash in here. I'm gonna teach you what a dash is. And it, oh, okay, well, <laughs> it's a little bit of a dash. So it calls for a dash of hot sauce. This is my favorite Frank's hot sauce. Okay, it'll be less than a dash. It'll be a pinch. See, a pinch. And then usually once we get the filling inside the eggs, usually we like to sprinkle with paprika on like just like a little bit on the top and it's really good with it. And by usually she means the one time we've ever done this. <laughs> It even smells better than yesterday's. Oh my gosh, oh, it rain. just it's started hairy. raining. It's hairy. <laughs> it's hairy. Can you guys see that? That just started in like one second. second. Oh, that's so crazy. Oh my, oh my goodness, she's like, no. <laughs> no. Instead of using a piping bag, we're just gonna use a Ziploc bag, right? Yeah. It's okay. a lot faster and easier. Yep. Okay, we're just going to cut the very tip of the bag off. I'm going to do the first egg and then I'll let Olivia do the rest. It doesn't even have to be fancy. Well, Olivia decided to take a break. <laughs> it's actually not that. Oh wow, I need to get my shirt. <laughs> My favorite part is that you can see them bouncing off the grass. It looks like they're dancing. Are you ready for a taste test? Okay. I want to know what you think. Honest answer. You're good. Are they so much better than yesterday? Like 20. Like, better than yesterday's. These are a lot better than yesterday's. <laughs> Yay, success! <laughs> you did it mostly by yourself. I bet you could do it all the way yourself next time. We just have to make sure that we know the difference between tablespoon and teaspoon, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I may have put a tablespoon of mustard. Yeah. If you guys liked today's vlog and you liked watching me make my very own deviled eggs, 
give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. You guys, these are fabulous. Better be. fabulous, Olivia. Yeah, they better be. Good job. Do a dance. Do a dance. Do, do, do. No. Do a um, TikTok dance. No. Do a TikTok dance. Uh-uh, no. Do a TikTok dance. No. Do a TikTok dance. No. No. Only if you do it with me. Oh, heavens. No, can I teach you it? Yes, teach it. Maybe next time. Okay. Okay, show me what you know. She doesn't watch TikTok. Her friends teach dance and they teach yeah. her TikTok dances. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Didn't even notice your punches got to rolling. You gotta keep a focus. So why don't you say so? Ah! <laughs> I know like five other ones. I'm not doing it. 